Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back. This is page 13 of our Earth Science Reference Table, and we are gonna be looking specifically on the right-hand side at our air pressure chart. Last time we met, we were talking about air pressure and the variables that affect it. And I mentioned briefly that we, we looked at the chart, but we'd go a little bit more in detail with it later on. And it's later on, so let's take a look at this chart. So like I said, this is page 13, Earth Science Reference Table, and we're looking at the right-hand chart where it says, air pressure and there it is so we're going to zoom on in take a little bit closer look at this chart see how it is how it's broken up and the intervals that it uses uh, let's go one more there we go so the air pressure chart located on page 13 looks a little bit like this and we can see it has two sides the left side we have our millibars and on our right side we have inches of mercury the inches of mercury, remember, it comes from that little standing pool of mercury where it's got the glass capillary type tube inside of it. The weight of the air pushes down on the mercury and forces it up into the capillary tube. And that's measuring that height gives you inches of mercury. We could also use other gauges to measure in millibars. If we look on the left side here, where it says millibars, we can see how this is broken up. So we go from 1,036 to 1,040, and we can see we have one, two, three, four lines in between, making each one of these worth one millibar. And you could write this on your reference table if you like. On the right-hand side, where we have inches of mercury, we can see that we have this larger line in the middle here. So if we go from 30.6 to 30.7, halfway in between would be 30. 0.65, so making these larger ones worth 0 0.05. Well, and we see we have lines in between that too. One, two, three, four, five lines. So each one of these smaller ones, each one of those little ones is gonna be worth 0 0.01. So each one of those worth 0 0.01. So now we know how the right and the left side is broken up, our inches of mercury and millibars. Now we can attempt to convert in between each of those two variables. So let's take a look. Let's use the number, let's do, I don't know, 1,033. 0 0.0 millibars. And we want to convert that to our inches of mercury. So we go to 1,033, so 1,028, 1,032, 1,033 would be right there, 0. 0.0 millibars. And what we do is we take this line and we carry it over. And we can see that it really is, it, it almost is on that 30.50 line. And that's it, we call it a day, 30.50 inches of mercury is basically the same as 1,033.0 millibars. We can also go the other way. Let's do 30.55 inches of mercury over into millibars. So we have 30.50 halfway in between 30.50 and 30.6 is 30.55 take this line carry it over and if we notice here it does not fall on or close to a line but it is between the 130 1032 and the 1036 so we can count up remember each one of these is worth one millibar so 1032 1033 1034 point and we see that it's halfway in between the next one, five millibars. That's it, done. So now we've just converted between inches of mercury and millibars. Pretty easy. Remember, this is using page 13 of the Earth Science Reference Table, looking at the air pressure chart. There it is right there. And that's how we, can, that's how we convert between the two. And there you have it. Page 13 of your science reference table, looking at the air pressure chart to the right. Thanks, and have a good day.